Everything you need to know about the three basic kinds of investment options available through Apple and Group, you already know from your experience with cars. Hi, I'm Mark Scheffler, CEO and founder of Appleton Group. Here in Appleton, Wisconsin, we're a registered investment advisor and fiduciary dedicated to helping our clients spend as much time as possible on the right side of the market. Well, take a ride down the highway and you're likely to see three basic kinds of vehicles. You'll of course see a lot of what I call traditional vehicles, ones that are powered by regular old gasoline and diesel. They're traditional because they use an engine that's powered by fossil fuels burned in an internal combustion engine. This engine has single-handedly been responsible for much of the economic growth of the past century. It's used to move people and goods, and frankly, there's no better alternative right now if we want to continue to grow our modern economy. But of course, the future is being built on a move away from fossil fuels toward an all-electric fleet. During the last Super Bowl, I don't remember seeing a single ad for any car that wasn't all-electric. It's the future. They're incredibly cool and ultra-efficient. They're nowhere near perfect, but once we get the infrastructure built, the future looks a lot cleaner and more efficient. But the third kind and the next biggest share of vehicles on the road right now are what we call hybrids. They've got two engines in the same vehicle, one a traditional gas-powered engine and the other an electric motor. When in use, a computer automatically selects which engine is most efficient to use. On the highway, it'll use gas to attain higher speeds, but in town, it'll mainly use an electric motor, which doesn't need to burn fossil fuels to go from point A to point B. Now, hybrids have been around for a while now, and I happen to have owned one of the first models of Prius uh, from Toyota that was available here in the States. It was cutting edge then, but it's actually pretty common now. All the main new manufacturers have them, and by numbers, they're the second most common type of vehicle around today. So why am I talking about cars and not investments? Well, because just like there are traditional hybrid and electric cars, there are three very similar investment strategies that we offer. Traditional strategies, known as buy and hold. These are flexible strategies which are novel and cutting edge in that they automatically adjust as market conditions change. And there are hybrid strategies that combine both traditional and flexible strategies together in a single diversified portfolio. Well, I want to talk about the hybrids for a bit because we really think that they're worth considering for nearly every investor right now. Here's what you need to know. First, our hybrids combine in a single portfolio both traditional buy and hold strategies along with flexible strategies in what we feel is the most suitable mix for each decade of life. For younger investors, those in their 20s or 30s, we generally have higher exposure to equities in a buy and hold format. But as investors get closer and closer to needing those assets for retirement income, they move from mostly buy and hold strategies to mostly flexible strategies. Second, our suite of hybrids consists of five offerings, and they're so easy to understand. Each one is built for an investor's current decade of life. We've got hybrids for investors ages 18 to 29, 30 to 39, 40 to 49, 50 to 59, and for ages 60 and up. Simply pick your decade of life, and the hybrid that fits your age bracket is probably the best fit. Now, here's the most important feature. Whatever decade of life you're in is the percentage of the strategy that's invested in flexible strategies. For example, our 30 to 39 hybrid has only 30% of the portfolio in a flexible strategy. Our 40 to 49 hybrid has 40% in flexible and so on. So each new decade of life gives you more flexibility. But the buy and hold side is also adjusted slightly to offer more exposure to fixed income assets as you get closer to retirement just like most traditional strategies already do. Well, the third thing to consider with our hybrids is really one of comfort. Many investors experience increased stress either because they're participating too much in declining markets or not participating enough in rising markets. Our hybrids actually divide your assets into two kinds of buckets, the traditional bucket being more long-term and the flexible side being more short to intermediate term. It's an effective way to diversify your total portfolio and might help you feel less stress and to be more comfortable through today's dynamic markets. When markets are cooperative, both sides may be invested very similarly. However, when markets are declining, you'll find that the flexible strategy may offer better downside protection. And in some cases, quite a bit. This means that a better balance between risk and reward is achievable than a portfolio that uses exclusively either traditional strategies or even one that uses exclusively flexible strategies. 
and when markets potentially rebound following a significant decline, you'll have some assets that are participating automatically. Well, no matter how you might look at it, investing can be tricky, especially in today's dynamic markets. And we think that the turn to a more sustainable but not necessarily bigger economy is already underway and will require more flexibility and forward thinking than was necessary over the past century. If you're feeling like the stress of investing is getting to be too much, consider one of our hybrid strategies. Better balance, better diversification, and perhaps a better quality of life. Hey, if you're not yet a client of Apple Group, come on over. You are welcome here. Call us at 920-993-7727 to talk to one of our advisors today.